Hello everyone, this is Chloe from Cousin DIY. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this little desk tool organizer. Great project for children. It uses cardboard, heavyweight paper, acrylic paint, a glue gun, some craft glue, and we're going to embellish it with these little acrylic uh, diamond studded beads. Let's get started. The first step is to make your circles, your donut circles. This is a Pier 1 bowl. It's approximately five and a half inches in diameter. So you'll just trace around that. I think this is, oh, we also use a toilet paper roll. And I think approximately five and a half inches is probably a really good width. So you're just gonna trace like this, a couple circles, and then you're just gonna cut them out. I've cut mine out already to save time. And here they are. Set those aside. The next step is to cut two strips of heavyweight paper. We're going to glue these together. The reason for using this heavyweight paper is that the cardboard was too firm. It wouldn't shape around the edges of my donut. So um, I decided I'd give this a try and it worked pretty well. So these are 13 inches long by about one and three quarter inches wide. So you cut these out. And this heavyweight paper that I'm using has a shiny side and a matte side. And I find that it works better if you glue the matte sides together. So this is the matte side and this is the matte side. Then you'll take some craft glue and place your strips together. And you're gonna to allow that to dry. And the next step is to heat up your hot glue gun. I tried using a low temp glue gun to make this project because uh, if children were making it, the hot glue gun, as you know, can burn your fingers, but the low temp just didn't seem to hold um, hold together as well as the hot. So if you're making this with children, this is the part the adult will do. So the next step is to take a toilet paper roll, empty, put some glue on one side, and then we're going to press that onto one side of the circle, leaving a little bit of space on the bottom and then we're going to put glue on the other side of the toilet paper roll. And try to line these two circles up the best you can. We're gonna glue that toilet paper roll in between these two sides of our donut. Next, Here's the strip that we glued together of the heavyweight paper. Now this um, is where I marked with a pencil where we wanted to start on one side. So um, I'm going to carefully apply a pretty generous strip hot glue. about 
three to four inches down on that side and I'm just gonna press press in on it with my fingers until it really holds which seems to be doing quite well then I'm going to repeat it on the other side And if you see a spot where it lifts a little bit like, like it has on me right here, I'm just going to put an extra little squirt and push that down until it really grabs. I'm going to go all the way around our donut, just repeating these steps on each side. next step is going to be painting. So I'm going to get set up and I'll be right back. So the next step is to set up your paint. I'm using a pink, um, golden brown, and a white. These are acrylic paints and I poured a little to get started in these little plastic trays. And I'm going to trace the donut hole. I'm using a toilet paper roll. I'm gonna make a little donut hole. Use that as a template. on either side. And then I'm going to um, just make a little scallopy edge where that frosting's going to end. Any extra glue, you can feel free to pull it off. It's spilled over onto the sides. And these are just to give me a guide when I start to paint. I'm not gonna follow them perfectly. So the first step is to fill in the donut holes with white paint. Next, I'm going to paint along the edges. We'll do the other side and then we'll do around the edges of our donut. That looks pretty good. I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes and we'll be right back. Now that the crust of our donut and the donut hole is dry, we're ready to paint on our frosting. Now that our frosting is painted on, we'll let that dry. 
and then we'll be back for the last step. And our last step is to embellish our donut with some sprinkles. I sorted out these little bar beads from the acrylic diamond bead assortment. And I'm going to use tweezers and glue to place the sprinkles on my donut. I'm going to put some glue on a piece of paper. Use tweezers, dip the bead in the glue and start placing my sprinkles on my frosting. And let's put a few tools in here. Pencil, a ruler, a pair of scissors, another pencil. There you go. This could also be used for a little girl to hold their hair brushes and hair ties, perhaps. Um, you could use it for lots of different things. Thank you for joining us. And if you make your own little donut tool holder, please share it with us on Instagram at hashtag create with cousin. See you soon. Goodbye.